Hey, hey, monkeys, how you doing? Damien Keys here. I love helping musicians. I genuinely, genuinely love it. That's why I've been involved in music education for 20 years. What you want is to be successful as a musician or in a band. Do you know what I want? I want you to be successful as a musician or in a band. And that's why I genuinely have passion when I, I get a, a, a message from a musician with some kind of progression on it. We've done this and it's really worked. And I'm like, yeah, it's amazing. That's what I want. I really want to see your progression and I want to see, see you guys succeed. It means everything to me. When I get those messages from you, it just makes me feel like in Rocky 3 when Rocky punches out Club Lang because he's made Mickey have a heart attack. You know what I'm saying? Pew! However, one thing that is unacceptable to me is jaded teachers. Teachers that have been teaching musicians for too long and they're stuck in a rut and they're in it for the money and they don't believe in their students and more importantly, they don't believe in young musicians. So let me tell you a secret. In my workshops that I'm doing quite a lot of at the moment, I have quite a lot of bravado about my experience as a musician, as a music educator, how are you gonna compete with me as a bass player? Because I've been playing for 20 years, I've done 2,000 gigs. How can you possibly compete with me? Well, let me tell you a secret. Secretly, I'm fucking terrified of young musicians. And the reason for that is because of all the things that they have got in their arsenal that I don't have. Yes, I got experience. So I've got years of playing and being on stage and building a network. But if you look at what musicians have got, their youth, their lack of responsibility, their looks, the cool factor, the being in date, the fact that they've, they've got an ability to just take risks. Like all of these things that they've got in their arsenal that I don't have anymore, that's very scary. Now many, many musicians, most musicians don't play the right strategy. They don't call on the great things that they've got in their arsenal and they try and go head to head. And yeah, if you're gonna go head to head with a musician with 20 years of experience, that's gonna really be hard. How are you gonna do that? It's a struggle. But some musicians every so often play the right hand. They play the right strategy and they use their strengths against my strengths or against strengths of older musicians. And do you know what? For us older musicians, that's fucking terrifying because we cannot compete. The stamina of a young musician, you know, me traveling around the country all the time takes its toll. When I was 19, fuck that, I'll stay up all night. I sleep in the van, makes no difference. I can't do that now. You have got things in your arsenal that you can use against more experienced musicians in order to get yourself ahead. So start thinking about those things and what you can do to utilize those things because those are the things that when someone plays their hand in the right way will terrify us older musicians. So when you're fighting the old guard, when you are going into battle, you need to choose your weapons carefully and your weapons are your skills your skills and your strengths of your youth and your stamina and your looks and your cool factor. Don't try and play the experience game and go head to head on experience because you're gonna lose. And this is a way that young musicians can win. And old musicians don't like that. They want it they want to be a fair fight. And a fair fight is experience v experience. If you play that game, you're gonna lose. So be smarter about it, be clever. Choose your weapons carefully. I'll see you guys tomorrow.